Speed gliding is a new sport combining the thrill of flying, the speed of terminal velocity, and the beauty of high mountains. The incredible strength and maneuverability of today's hang gliders allow you to crank up the airspeed and scream through the gates. Each mountain is a new and unique course. The World Cup hang gliding series brings speed gliding to countries all over the world. Speed gliding is a need for speed and attitude to tear up the skies. You want to tear up the skies. You want the wind in your face. You want to jam down the mountain at a rocket's pace. Speed is a touch, a natural high. You want speed a lot. You want to fly. You pull in the bar. You head for the ground. You skim the trees. You're earthward bound. The only way to die when you finally go is to hang like a lot and not just go slow. Let's check out the dare. Let's do the deed. We'll scream through the air at an awesome speed. This film is about the risks and skill it takes to push the limits and tear up the skies. We will start our speed gliding adventure at Sun Peaks Ski Resort in the lower part of British Columbia, Canada. This is where the Canadian Cross Country Nationals competition and the Canadian Speed Gliding Championships happened together. This mountain is accessible through Jeep trails and ski lifts. The launch is at 6,800 feet above sea level. You can launch off both sides of the ridge. It works out perfectly. You speed glide in the morning when the air is calm. Then in the afternoon, you climb to cloud base and go cross Canada. Significant landmarks on the course are a pylon at the top of the sunburst chair, the bottom of the Crystal Lake chair, down the ridge run, the three gate flush at the bottom face, and through the altitude control finish gate. The top has an altitude control gate right after launch. The pilot or the glider must go below the height limit gate or be disqualified. Then around a gate at the chairlift intersection and to the Mid-Mountain Lodge at the top of the Sunburst Express chairlift. Around the gate shown by the blue tarp here and then down Crystal Lane to the bottom of Crystal Chair. Around the gate at the bottom of Crystal Chair and then over to the Express Chair intersection with a cruiser run. You then do three gates and set up for the final altitude control gate, which is also the finish line. The complete glider must pass on the correct side of the pylon. Pylon judges are needed to make sure the glider goes completely around the pylon. Pylons mark the turn point. Large blue tarps survived as reliable and visible markers to find the pylons as we learned the course. With the altitude control gates, you must have the complete glider between both poles and some part of your glider or your body below the top pole. These are extremely challenging and dangerous to maneuver through. You are closing into the ground fast and must aim perfectly between the gates. The objective is to fly smooth and fast and stay on course. Pilots practice run the course. This is their first time speed gliding, running the gates.
pilots learn that to be effective around the gates, you must anticipate the pylons ahead and fly smooth and fast around them. Notice the perfect technique of Chris Mueller as he rolls out of a turn and into the heading of the next pylon. Chris is the son of the famous Canadian hang glider pilot Willie Mueller. To fly the course well, you must gauge your speed and go as fast as possible, but not so fast that you end up being too low to make the next pylon. Strategy, skill, guts, and a performance glider are the basics to win the race. You start your time as you run off the ramp. The pilots race the course. blast out of Sun Peaks for the ultimate challenge. Scream through the air at an awesome speed. We fly into Telluride, Colorado, a famous ski area high in the Rocky Mountains, USA. Telluride is unique because of its high altitude, sheer beauty, and all the luxuries of a top-notch ski town. The launch area is at an altitude above 12,000 feet. This is the high altitude zone where the Federal Aviation Administration recommends airplane pilots use pure oxygen. This thin air at high altitude has less drag to slow you down. At 12,000 feet, you actually go 20% faster through the air than you do at sea level. At a race speed of 70 miles per hour on today's hang gliders, the actual true airspeed over the ground is 84 miles per hour. That's fast. The combination of high altitude spectacular flying and ski town atmosphere provide the perfect environment to tear up the skies. Each year, the Telluride Air Force team hosts the World Aerobatic Championships. This year, the Telluride Air Force teamed up with Pendulum Aerosports to sponsor the World Hang Gliding Series Championships, both aerobatics and speed gliding in one event. The speed gliding course starts at the main launch altitude of 12,200 feet above sea level. In this first section of the course, there is a long 
10 to 1 glide to the first altitude control gate. After the first control gate, you then go around the snag and two more pylons to complete the first section of the course. Then to Jesus Rock where you perform a 360 turn. From there you set up for the second altitude control gate just above the Gondola St. Sophia station. After the second control gate you go for the next pylon at the end of the switchback. After the switchback gate at the Telluride Trail, you do four more gates at the bottom of the mountain and then set up your final glide for the altitude control finish gate. The finish gate is just out of town with a large enough area to burn off speed and land. The course has a total vertical drop of about 3,200 feet. Overall the course is about 4 miles long. Average speed is about 55 miles per hour on the course. During the run, true airspeeds range between 40 on the areas where you want to get a good glide to 80 miles per hour where you need to get down through a control gate. The key is figuring out how to fly the course. The first part of the course is a long 10 to 1 glide to the first altitude control gate. If you fly too fast, you will come out too low to make it through the first altitude control gate. Too slow and you can lose the race. Overall, the best glide is used as you start the course and this is adjusted the closer you get to this first altitude control gate. Some pilots came through the gate barely making it. Others saved their altitude and came through with speed to spare. The secret to flying fast down the course is to anticipate the gates ahead of you and plan for the gate ahead of time. If you do not think ahead of time, you become late on the gates and you lose time playing catch up. This first altitude control gate is a great place to watch pilot technique develop. Here a pilot blasts through and is not ready for the next gate. Here a pilot goes through the gate anticipating the next pylon called the tree snag. Once around this tree snag, you have the three pylon flush to complete the first face of the mountain. At this point, planning has to start to get ready for the second altitude control gate. Here you head to Jesus Rock and do a 360. Coming out of the 360 you start the approach for the second altitude control gate. This is the most challenging portion of the course. You dive for the edge of the trees and fly into the trail. The fast pilots cranked a moderately steep turn and blasted through just coming out of the turn. Some of the slower pilots flew way back and dove straight for the gate. This altitude control gate is about halfway down the course. From this altitude control gate there are five more pylon gates and a long glide to the finish altitude control gate. Here you must start planning for the finish gate. You can fly this last five gate flush fast because you have a lot of altitude to eat up 
before the finish gate. Each of these gates is near the gondola and generally goes down the coonskin face towards the village of Telluride. After the last pylon, it's in a dive for the finish line. This is a long distance dive from the center of town to the large meadow on the edge of town. You focus on getting through the gate the fastest. The early mornings are best for speed gliding. The air is calm, you can get close to the mountain and not worry about hitting any turbulent air that can throw you off course or throw you into the mountain. This morning it is perfect to make a practice run on the course. Let's zip into the harness and get the best glide to the first altitude control gate. It looks like we are coming out high enough to increase speed here and make an aggressive dive for the first altitude control gate. Okay, we made the gate. We aggressively go up on the wing to round the tree snag. This is a tricky gate. Here comes the third pylon on the course. We whip it around here and head for the fourth pylon on the face. left around it. The fifth gate is just ahead. We must go to the right of it and basically stay on the trail. Jesus Rock is ahead. We must plan a right hand 360 here. We're kind of high, so we'll make a very steep turn to make sure we lose lots of altitude to set up for the altitude control gate number seven coming up. We head for the trees. We need to get lower to make the gate. We bank it up and set up for the gate. We need to get lower. You pull in the bar. You head for the ground. We skim the slope. We're earthward bound. Now for the Telluride Trail switchback pylon straight ahead. We whip it around here and go for the ninth pylon on the coonskin face. We are a bit high, so we increase our speed. There's plenty of altitude to burn off on this part of the course. Here is pylon 10. This is on the main road up to launch. We carve it around here and head for pylon 11. We crank it around and head for the last pylon before the final glide. We are still quite high so we'll maintain our speed. We round the last gate and start for the final glide. The pressure from holding the bar in and cranking around the gates is exhausting. Concentrate on that final altitude control gate. Through the final gate, awesome, we have done the course. Now. The landing attempt at 9,000 feet. What a great practice run. Tomorrow, the race begins. The pressure is on now to perform. Times will be taken, compared, and discussed. Preparations are made for the speed competition. The pilots' meeting goes over details about the course. Pilots are ready to go. It's time to jam down the mountain at a rocket's pace. It's time for the ultimate race.
we have raced the course and had fun with our friends. It's too bad that our speed gliding now must end. Speed gliding has become a new need. Make sure before too many years you do it with speed. From the air, this is Paul Hamilton saying goodbye and never forget to tear up the sky.